talking about it. Da, 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 da. First product review ever. I hope it's good. I think it will be. Let's see. This is the Arteryx Conceal with a K AR shoe as opposed to the Arteryx Conceal FL shoe, which is an older shoe, still a great shoe, but uh, this is new and of course I think probably better. Well, I know it's better and we'll, we'll get to that. I was looking for a travel shoe, you know, a daily driver type shoe that I can wear all day, that I can have in a variety of different situations. I can walk in it, I can hike in it, I can go to a restaurant in it, I can, you know, do whatever in it, almost anything in it. And so it's multi-purpose. So I reduce the number of shoes that I have to take when I travel. Cause I don't know about you, but when I travel, I hate taking shoes cause they take up so much space. I got to put my socks and underwear in here and I got to fold it up and do this like Tetris thing in my suitcase to make it fit. And I can get one pair in there. I can wear another pair and maybe bring flip flops as well. But I don't want a lot of shoes. I just, I don't, I'm not a shoe guy. So well, I am a shoe guy. I like nice shoes, but I don't need a dozen shoes, especially when I travel. So that brings me to this shoe. Again, the Arteryx Conceal with a K, AR. So I was looking at the FL and I was on the fence because I saw some reviews that you know people put and they said, yeah, it's not bad. I'm not looking for a not bad shoe. I'm looking for a good shoe, a shoe that I can wear and feel really good about. And uh, this is it, you know, let's go through it, okay? price $250 Woo! so Arteryx it's a little expensive but you get a lot of shoe for that so if you pay $250 for this shoe I'd say yeah it's not bad you know it's expensive yeah it will last you forever and Arteryx guarantees it if the shoe breaks well double check that because I know on most of their stuff uh, and I'm pretty sure to, you know, it, it's also on this shoe they if it breaks they will fix it or replace it I had a pack from theirs they make good stuff I had a pack from them uh, it busted after years of misuse and they fixed it for me at no cost and, and it's really great I love that pack it's actually behind me I don't know if you can see it uh, I'll do a review on that pack one day maybe uh, but anyway so good shoe expensive but good and I think worth it. If you get it on sale, which I'm pretty sure you can, uh, Black Friday or whatever, Boxing Day sales, uh, certain sites have these on sale, I'm pretty sure, maybe even Amazon. Uh, if you get it below 250, I think you're doing pretty good. All right, so this shoe, I've been wearing it for about three months. And you can see it's a little dirty, but there's no wear really, right? After three months on most shoes, you wouldn't expect a lot of wear, but I have beaten the hell out of this thing and it still shows no wear. And uh, to give you an idea, I wear it every single day. So all day, every day. And I also wear it on all my, all my trips. So I've been traveling pretty much every two weeks for the last three months, and I'm wearing it on the plane. I travel to the US, Canada, and most recently, Australia. I wore it on the plane going to Australia and back 17 hours each way, and I never took it off. Normally, if I'm wearing flip-flops, I'm taking those suckers off. These didn't even think about it because they're actually quite comfortable. And that's really the big thing about this shoe is that it looks cool. You know, I got this kind of gray color. Also comes in a nice, nice kind of browny color. The suede, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. They have a brown color suede, which I think looks totally dope. Like if you want to wear these in the city, you know, with jeans and go to a restaurant and hang out, the brown color. Ooh, I think that would be pretty amazing. If you have those, take a picture of them because I want to see them because I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have bought those, but these go with everything. With the brown, I'm not sure they would. So anyway, uh, super comfortable shoe. I wore them for 17 hours straight on a plane. Didn't even think about it. It probably depends a little bit on the socks you're wearing too. So I'm going to do a review on socks and tell you what kind of socks I think are ideal for travel, especially in this shoe at some point. But let's get back to this shoe. So expensive, $250, get it on sale if you can. It's well worth the money. The materials that we got going on here, a little unique. The FL had more of a Gore-Tex kind of upper to it. This is suede. So this is a thicker material. And oh man, it's just like, ah, uh, just sorry. Uh, beautiful to touch. Like 
every component of the shoe, when you feel it, and I like to feel products and get that experience from it, when you touch it, it's like, yeah, yeah, I like this shoe. You know, it's the suede is, is great. Nice work, Arteryx. You know, would it hold up outside under the rain every day? Well, it might get a little soggy under rain a lot, like suede does, but it's not like this like pristine suede either. It's almost like this kind of like hardcore suede. Uh, and there's just the upper part of it, right? So it would probably beat off with the right protection, but I don't wear them in the rain, in the rain a lot. I wear them outdoors a fair bit. I've hiked in them quite a bit. I did some hills with them. Uh, it was actually super comfortable on the hills, way more than I thought they would be. So you've got this upper suede, which is looks beautiful, feels amazing. It just molds to your foot. And then it gets a little bit more solid here with, I don't know what this is, like some sort of plasticky, not really a bad plastic though. It's like almost like a over the suede type of protective thing that seems to work well, that transitions you into then your bottom part here, which is much more solid and protective. And then this whole rubber piece that wraps around the toe, which, you know, I was wondering how that was gonna work out, whether that was gonna be good or not, whether it was gonna be too much, like this steel toed shoe type of thing, but it's not, it's very subtle. People look at it and go, hmm, cool. They don't go, what are you doing? Uh, so it's nice. It's not too much, I don't think. I think it's good. Uh, it feels good. When I look down at my feet, they look good. When other people look at my shoes, there's no like, why are you wearing those in an airport type thing? It's like, oh yeah, those look good. So overall, super happy with the look. I got a size nine. Nine is my size all the time. Like my shirts are mediums, you know, all the time. When they're not, something's off. This is a size nine, it fits. It's an approach shoe, which I'm gonna get into with the laces. So I thought maybe it should fit tighter if I'm gonna do, be doing the approaching, right? But I, I don't climb that much. I'm just a recreational climber, if that, right? Not a lot, a couple times a year with some buddies. So I don't need a super tight fitting shoe. Nine fits perfect for me, actually. So true to the size, great job, Arteryx, thank you. Getting into the approach qualities of this shoe, notice the lace goes all the way down the shoe. Looks a little different than your average running shoe, because it is. It will fit like a glove if you get this dialed in. At first, it took me a few tries to get this working, but you gotta fiddle with it a little bit. You know, 10 minutes, not a lot of investment of your time to get a, you know, glove-like fit. So, take a look at that. I did this funky little knot thing here. I think they call it like a runner's knot or something. You can see that's what that back hole is for. You, it doesn't come with that back hole loaded, so you can just leave it out, lace it, tie it as normal, no problem works great i did that for the first month but then i thought well maybe i should use that back hole i've always wanted to so i did the little knot and it, you can see it kind of like cinches the lace and what it does is when you lace this up just perfect and get the tightness just the way you want it uh, then it, it doesn't let that release as easily as it would with a normal knot runners like to do this knot so their 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 shoes don't come untied when they're doing a long run i do ultras um you know not a lot a couple times a year so i like that as well for for that actually i never tried it before i'm going to try it going forward with this uh on my runners and i'm excited to see what happens there because i'm always fiddling and i hate it when i'm running and i start to get one foot tighter than the other or looser than the other so yeah i'm kind of liking this now so we'll see how that goes uh so suede upper this robust rubber around the toe great if you're bumping into stuff you know on the planes it's so dirty and gross i want something that's like you know utility grade that i'm not worried about getting yucky this doesn't get yucky at all um again the vibram on the bottom there's no wear at all after three months it's looking good i'm sure that'll wear over time especially if you're doing it you know climbing and, and uh, approaching with it. But for me so far, it's holding up great. I have done a few hikes with this, uh, a few jogs, stuff like that. It's not a running shoe. So as you'll see, like there's not a lot of flex there, right? I was exaggerating a little bit for dramatic effect, but you know what, you know what I mean, right? It's like, there's a little bit, and you're probably thinking right now, ooh, that doesn't look too good. That's not gonna be comfortable. Uh, yeah, actually it is, surprisingly. Uh, when you walk in this, you get this feeling of security, which is kind of weird, and, and everybody would probably be different. But when I walk in this, I feel like my feet are like locked in and secure. And, and uh, combine that with the kind of tactical look of this, it's like, gives me that little, you know, boost of confidence with my feet, I think, like they can go through anything. Um, 
kind of sounds weird, doesn't it? But that's the feeling I get with these shoes. Yeah, so I like it. So the insole of this shoe is great as well. It's got an ortholite insole. Yeah, I can't really see too much. It's pretty dark in there, but you know, it's very comfortable inside. Because of the stiff, stiff thing here, the stiff bottom, uh, I'm not a shoe expert. I just like to wear them. So, you know, because the bottom is very stiff of the shoe, uh, I expected that it would be a little bit, not as much padding in the bottom is what I would like, not as comfortable maybe, but that's not true. Actually, it seems very comfortable. There's a lot of good arch support there. I don't know about the whole pronation part of it, but it seems to uh, really snug my foot nicely, fits well, good padding, and uh, just overall feels like a, a great shoe. So for comfort, I would say it's one of my most comfortable shoes. I'm not wearing my other shoes now. Uh, that are easier to put on when I go to the mailbox. I'm putting this on just because it feels so good. So I'd say comfort, nine out of 10. Uh, cost, I would say, you know, six out of 10, get it on sale. You might be able to bump that up to seven or eight out of 10. It's a low score because it's an expensive shoe, right? It's, uh, you're looking at $250 probably. That's probably gonna be more expensive than your average runner or travel shoe that you might wear. However, if you balance that with lifetime support warranty on this, if it breaks, you're gonna get it fixed or replaced. That's pretty good. Double check the fine print on that because I'm not sure if it applies to their shoes or not. I would assume it applies to all their stuff. But even if that doesn't apply, the quality on this shoe uh, is so much higher than any other shoe that you're gonna pick up. Uh, the Arterix brand is well known for quality. First responders like myself, we use their gear because we know that it's gonna work, that it's gonna hold up, that I'm not gonna be out there in the woods in the middle of nowhere and have it break on me. It's very rare that it does. That's how they're able to guarantee and not lose money. So price, you know, six to eight, depending on where you get it from. For style and look, you know, that's a bit subjective, but for me, I like a um, kind of gray man tactical look I, I want to be able to walk through the airport and you know and other places in the world and not stand out as a tourist and um, you know so this does it for me it's uh, it's got the kind of style I'm going for I wear a lot of blacks and grays you know not very exciting so if you want to spice this up a little bit go for the uh, kind of brownish orange suede who looks hot I think it looks amazing if I was a little more brave and I was gonna wear this just you know for going out for you know drinks and stuff uh, with jeans, I would have probably bought that one. I uh, would love to see pictures of people who have that one. So yeah, I'd say overall, this is a thumbs up. A great job, Arteryx, a very nice shoe. I can't wait to see what this looks like in a year or two. I'm pretty sure it's gonna look similar as it does now, uh, a very nice shoe. Um, I, can't, I can see this holding up pretty well. Yeah, if you have this shoe or you're thinking about buying this shoe, I'd really like to hear what you have to say. Uh, hopefully the experience has been as good for you as it has for me so far. And uh, if you also have the FL or you have the brown suede version of this shoe, please let me know as well and what you think. Uh, I often double guess my, uh, second guess my purchases. I often think maybe I should have bought the brown one, but uh, this one looks dope and I, I love it. So yeah, that's it, signing off. And thank you very much, later. Thank you.